Hello, fellow adventurers, and welcome back to another episode, of the perfect European retirement. If you're looking for the ideal country to retire in Europe, where cost of living, residency permits, safety, and top-notch healthcare support, all align to create your dream retirement destination, you are in the right place. Join me, on this thrilling journey, as we explore Portugal, most popular country to retire in Europe. Now, hit that subscribe button, and let's turn your European retirement dreams, into reality. Retiring in Portugal, can be an affordable option for anyone, who is looking for a safe and sunny place. A once hidden gem, this tiny country, on the west coast of the Iberian Peninsula, is continually rated as one of the safest country in the world with high-quality health care, and English-speaking locals. Depending on lifestyle, retirees can expect to spend less money than back home, while enjoying a higher quality of life, and never having to worry about safety, nor street violence. Portugal, is one of the fastest-aging countries in Europe, where retirees are treated with respect, and are well cared for, by the health system. With abundant sunshine and mild winters, Portugal is also an ideal place for an active retirement. For those considering retiring to Portugal, the first step is to actually visit the country, explore from one end to the other, and connect with expats, who have already taken the plunge. Ask yourself, what you need, to be happy during your retirement years. Do you want to live in a big city, in a small town, or off-grid? Looking to live around other expats for socializing, or would you prefer to be living alongside native Portuguese? Do you plan to have a car or a cat? Prefer to live near the beach, or in the mountains? Portugal has expat communities, throughout the country, where it's easy to fit in, make friends, and enjoy life, right from the start. Visa requirements. Many non-EU citizens, such as the USA, UK, Canada, Australia, Japan, New Zealand, and most European countries, can visit Portugal for up to 90 days, out of every six-month period, simply as a tourist. This may be an option for those, who wish to live only part-time in Portugal. But for anyone, who wishes to remain in Portugal for longer than three months at a time, it will be necessary to apply for a long-stay resident visa. The visa process begins at your local Portuguese consulate, or embassy. Applying for a long-stay visa, must be done from your home country, and cannot be done in Portugal. If you are from a country, that requires a Schengen visa to enter Portugal, then you must apply for Schengen visa at your home country, at the embassy, or consulate, before your travel. How to retire in Portugal. Portugal, has some of the most lenient visa requirements out of all EU countries, and is often referred to, as the gateway to Europe. If you are not an EU citizen, then you will have to apply for a visa to retire in Portugal. There are two, most popular visa routes, which allow you to live in Portugal as a retiree. First option, is to apply for D7 visa, also known as retirement visa, or passive income visa. This is a national, residency visa, issued to non-EU citizens, who want to live in Portugal, without working, but who have a steady income, from pensions, savings, real estate etc. Portugal D7 visa requirements. There is a set of criteria, to be eligible for Portugal D7 visa. You can apply for D7 Visa Portugal if you, are a non-EU national. Have the funds to support yourself during your stay in Portugal. Have a clean criminal record. Can show a residence address in Portugal. Are able to spend at least, 183 days per year in Portugal. What documents do you need to apply? You will need to submit the following documents with your Portugal D7 Visa application, in your home country, at the Portuguese Embassy, or Consulate the D7 visa application, filled and signed form. A valid passport. Your passport must be valid for at least, another six months from the date of your application. Two passport-sized photographs. Proof of sufficient funds through passive income. This can be pension, income from a business, income from a rental property or other. Proof of long-term accommodation, for 12 months or more, such as, a rental agreement or proof of purchase of a property in Portugal. Police, or criminal record check certificate. Proof of adequate health insurance coverage. You may also be asked to provide additional documents, such as birth certificates or marriage certificates, if you'll be bringing your spouse or dependent children with you to Portugal. 
D7 visa application process. The application for a D7 visa involves two stages. Firstly, you'll apply for the D7 residency visa itself in your home country, at your local Portuguese embassy or consulate. Note, that you must apply no earlier, than three months before your departure to Portugal. You will then receive a stamp in your passport, that will allow you to travel to Portugal, within 120 days from the issue date. Once you arrive in Portugal, you will have to make an appointment, with the SEF at a local Portuguese office. There, you will submit your application, for a temporary residency permit. Your temporary residence permit will be the document, that will allow you to reside in Portugal. Your initial permit will be valid for two years, after which it can be renewed for another three years. After five years of residency in Portugal, you will then have the option, of applying for Portuguese citizenship and a Portuguese passport. Processing times for D7 visa. It usually takes around two months for your initial D7 visa, to be processed and issued to you. It may then take up to four months, for your residence permit to be processed and issued, when you arrive in Portugal. However, the waiting times are generally longer, if you apply in densely populated areas, such as Lisbon or Porto. D7 Visa Cost The Portugal D7 Visa, costs around 100 euros to obtain. In addition to this, you will need to pay around 90 euros for a residence permit, once you arrive in Portugal. These fees will need to be paid in cash, or by check, to the Consulate of Portugal. Note that the majority of costs you will face when applying for the D7 visa, are costs associated with relocating, such as travel, accommodation and health insurance. The most important aspect of establishing your eligibility for the D7 visa is proving that you meet the passive income requirements. This will serve as proof that you're able to sustain yourself financially throughout your stay in Portugal independently and without having to rely on a conventional salaried income. The following, are considered to be eligible forms of passive income, for the Portugal D7 visa, pensions, real estate, transferable equity, royalties, intellectual property, earnings from long-term, fixed-rate financial investment, business dividends, as long as you don't work for the company, interest from savings. What are the minimum income requirements to retire in Portugal? If you're a single applicant, who won't be bringing any family members with you to Portugal, you will need to demonstrate, that you have a passive income of at least 705 euros per month, or 8,460 euros per year. If you're applying with your spouse or a partner, you will need to demonstrate, that you have an additional 50% of the original requirement, to account for the additional person. This amounts to an extra €352.50 per month, or an extra €4,230 per annum. So for a couple, it is a total of €12,690 per annum. For dependent children, you will need an additional 30% of the original requirement for each child you bring. You can also apply for dependent resident status, if you wish to bring any parents, who are financially dependent on you to Portugal. Note, that you will only be able to do this, once you have moved to Portugal, and settled there. Second option, is the Portugal Golden Visa, which is a residence visa, issued to non-EU nationals, who have made a significant investment in Portugal, such as purchasing real estate, making a capital investment, or creating employment opportunities. It is a fast-track process for obtaining permanent residence and citizenship in an EU country. Via the Golden Visa, you can become eligible for Portuguese citizenship, in as little as five years. To be eligible, for a Golden Visa in Portugal, you must make one of the following investments. Purchase a property worth at least €500,000. If you purchase in a low-density area, the investment amount is €400,000. Invest €350,000 in a property, in a Portuguese urban regeneration area. If you invest in a low-density area, the investment amount is €280,000. To be eligible for a golden visa for Portugal, you have to fulfill the following requirements. You must be over the age of 18. You must have no history of criminal records. You must own the money you plan to invest. And you must commit to maintaining the investment for at least five years, in order to qualify for Portuguese citizenship. Can you get Portugal citizenship by investment? The answer is, yes. 
If you receive a golden visa, you become eligible for citizenship after five years. Unlike other countries, you do not actually need to live in Portugal during that period to acquire citizenship via the golden visa route. You only need to spend 7 to 14 days per year in the country. However, you will have to prove that you maintain your property in Portugal and have some knowledge of the Portuguese language, at least on a basic level, will be required to pass the citizenship test. How to apply for a Portugal Golden Visa? The process of obtaining a Portuguese Golden Visa is straightforward, as follows. Visit Portugal and choose your investment. Set up a Portuguese bank account. Complete your investment. Apply for the Portugal Golden Visa. Receive your residence permit. Apply for Portuguese citizenship, permanent residence. What family members can apply for a Portugal Golden Visa? You can include the following family members in your application for a Portuguese Golden Visa. Your spouse or partner. Children under the age of 18. Children over the age of 18, who are dependent on you financially. Adult children must be enrolled in full-time education, and unmarried, to qualify as dependents. Siblings under the age of 18, of either yourself or your partner. For siblings to qualify as dependents, you or your partner must have legal custody of them. Dependent parents, over the age of 55, of either you, or your partner. You must provide documents proving their dependency, unless they are older than 65. Any family member included in your application, will receive a Portuguese residence permit card, and enjoy the same rights and privileges as you. Portugal Golden Visa Costs In addition to the main investment of your real estate, you also have to pay the following government fees. Visa processing fee, 533 euros for each family member. Golden Visa Issue Fee, 5,325 euros for each family member. Residence Permit Renewal Fee, 2,663 euros for each family member on each renewal. The Validity of Portugal Golden Visa The Portugal Golden Visa is initially valid for one year. You can then continue to renew it for two-year periods, provided that you have maintained your property. After five years, you become eligible for permanent residence or citizenship. Obtaining a Portuguese passport gives you access to EU citizen rights, such as freedom of movement and access to the European market. Access to Portuguese healthcare and education. As Portuguese residents or citizens, you and your family will have access to all its national services, such as free healthcare and education. Portugal has a public-funded healthcare system, known as the Cervico Nacional de Saúde, SNS in 2022. The World Health Organization, WHO, ranked Portugal in the 12th place of world healthcare systems. Let's talk about cost of living when retiring in Portugal. Portugal offers some of the lowest costs of living in Western Europe without sacrificing the quality of life. Nearly everything is very affordable, from food to education, to healthcare and leisure, and social activities. You can live comfortably in Portugal, at around US$1,200 per month, although the costs of living, depend largely on your lifestyle. In fact, Portugal is considered one of the best destinations for expats, consistently ranking high on international surveys. On the Expat Insider Survey, it ranked at number 5, the only European country, to make it on the top 10 list. Housing Cost Accommodation, will be the largest expense, if you are renting. In Portugal's countryside, expats can find rents, starting from as low as $450 for a two-bedroom, furnished, older home, packed with Portuguese charm. In Lisbon, it may be possible to find a furnished one-bedroom for under $900 per month, close to amenities and public transport. To buy in Lisbon, prices start around $500,000 for a modern, two-bedroom apartment, near the city center. In Porto, Portugal's second-largest city, you can find a one-bedroom, compact apartment in the city center, for around $800 per month, or a detached home outside of the city center, for $1,000. If you are looking to buy in Porto, a two-bedroom apartment near the city center, can be found for $250,000, while a house with land, in the country can be had, for around $350,000. Property for sale in Portugal's countryside, can offer a whole lot more house for the money, and typically may include some land. 
In Castelo Branco, or along Portugal's silver coast, it's possible to find houses, for under $200,000, but they may need little renovating. Popular expat havens in the Algarve, including Lagos in the west, where a two-bedroom, furnished rental can be found for $1,200 a month, just a short walk from the beach. In the center of the Algarve, 20-minute drive from Faro International Airport, is the resort town of Villa Mora, where a two-bedroom furnished rental, in a complex with a swimming pool, may be available to rent for around $1,000 a month. In the eastern Algarve, just a short drive from the Spanish border, is the historical town of Tavira. Rentals here, can be found for $1,000 in the center of town. If you are looking to buy in Algarve, prices for a two-bedroom, modern apartment in the town of Tavira, start around $280,000, while a semi-detached house, would go for around $400,000. Perhaps buying a ruin to renovate, has always been your dream? There are many ruins in rural Portugal, that you can buy with a budget between €10,000 to €25,000. It will most probably, be a ruin with no amenities, but with a healthy piece of land, that will give you the space, the freedom and potential to be creative, with your renovation project. So there you go, these are the best options, how to retire in Portugal. Whether you invest between 280,000 to 500,000 euros for a property, and get the golden visa, or rent an apartment and get the D7 visa, or, buy a cheap property to renovate on a D7 visa, there is place in Portugal, for all budgets. So what are you waiting for? Portugal has an assortment of grocery stores in all sizes, throughout the country. The largest retail grocery chain is Continente, with over 500 stores. Other popular chain stores are Pingo Doce, Intermarque, Spar, Lidl, and Aldi. Aldi even carries some products, that bear Trader Joe's name, commonly found in the U.S. Most expats, who settle in Portugal, rave about the low prices, and high quality compared to America. The healthy Mediterranean diet is alive and well here, with abundant fish, olive oil, fresh bread, and locally grown fruits and vegetables. Eating out, can be inexpensive, in Portugal. A meal of fresh fish caught on the day, served with vegetable soup, fries, and wine, will only cost you around $12, in most places. Savor a cup of espresso for about $1, and add one of Portugal's famous, delicious custard tarts, pastel de nata, for the same price. Sip glasses of $3 local wine, all afternoon with friends, and the waitstaff, will never hurry you out. Whether it's local cuisine you crave, or Chinese, Thai, Mexican, Indian, or Italian, or any other type of food, you can find it in Portugal. Utilities cost. The monthly cost of utilities in Portugal, will vary by the size of your property. Electricity, gas, water, and garbage disposal, is between $80 to $110 per month. Plan to add $35, for a high-speed internet, and $18 for a cell phone package. Prices throughout America, will vary by city and state, but as an example, monthly expenses in Lisbon, are 90% less than New York City, where even rent prices come in, at almost half. Even in small town in America, the overall cost of living in Boise, Idaho, comes in, at 35% more than Lisbon. Transportation cost. In larger cities, like Lisbon and Porto, most residents take full advantage of public transport. The price of a day pass for public transport, is $6.80 in Lisbon, and $7.30 in Porto. Uber and Bolt taxis, are reliable, and inexpensive too. Other reliable and inexpensive transport are long-distance trains, from one end of Portugal to another. Prices vary by daytime, and discounts are offered to seniors. Train price for Lisbon to Porto, is about $25. Healthcare cost. Portugal offers some of the best healthcare services in the world, and at astoundingly affordable prices. With Portuguese citizenship, expats have access to free public healthcare system, where most services and prescriptions are offered at no charge. Residents can pick up affordable private health insurance plans, with no deductibles starting at just $30 a month for a couple in their 40s, while a couple in their 60s will pay around $300. Many medical professionals, especially in the private sector, are fluent in English. 
expats, find themselves paying next to nothing, for life-sustaining medications, such as insulin in Portugal, compared to costs escalating as high as $1,000 per month in the U.S. What are the best places in Portugal, to retire? One of the most sought-after places in Portugal, is without a doubt, Algarve. Located in the southernmost region of Portugal, bordering the Atlantic Ocean and Spain, the Algarve boasts 100 miles of stunning coastline, with breathtaking beaches, dramatic cliffs, and crystal clear waters. Faro International Airport, is conveniently located in the region, making it accessible to travelers worldwide. With over 300 days of sunshine and mild winters, it's an ideal location for those, who enjoy outdoor activities. In short, a sun-soaked active lifestyle. The region is known for its fresh seafood, local wines, charming villages, and world-class golf courses. The Algarve, is home to many non-EU residents, most of which are located in Lagos, Tavira, Faro, and Villamora. As a result, English is widely spoken in these areas. The second favorite area among expats, is the metropolitan area. Located in the western part of Portugal, it includes the capital city, Lisbon. This region is known for its rich history, diverse culture, and stunning coastal landscapes. The weather in the metropolitan area, is generally mild, with warm summers and mild winters, making it an appealing destination for retirees, seeking a Mediterranean climate. Lisbon is a vibrant cosmopolitan city, with a rich cultural scene, offering a wide range of museums, theaters, and art galleries, but also excellent healthcare facilities, and efficient public transportation system. The region is home to historic neighborhoods, with narrow streets, ancient castles, and picturesque plazas, where one can experience, the traditional Portuguese way of life. Most expats are located in Lisbon, Casque, and Citra, enjoying strolling through their historic districts, visiting museums and monuments, and exploring its parks and gardens. Another favorite area for expats, is the Silver Coast. The Silver Coast, is a stunning stretch of coastline, that lies between Lisbon and Porto. With picturesque seaside towns, impressive historical sites, and an overall relaxed atmosphere, the Silver Coast is an ideal destination for those, looking to embrace the traditional Portuguese lifestyle, while enjoying the region's natural beauty, but more affordable than Lisbon. Retirees are drawn to the Silver Coast, for its breathtaking coastal scenery, rich history, and authentic Portuguese lifestyle. The region offers a variety of recreational activities, surfing, golfing, and exploring charming fishing villages. Best places to settle down, are the town of, Nazaire, Peniche, or the medieval town Abidos, famous for its annual, international chocolate festival. When it comes to a genuine Portuguese experience, the north of Portugal is where you'll find it. This region, is known for its rich history, stunning landscapes, and strong cultural traditions. The cities and towns up north, are brimming with character and charm making it a perfect retirement spot for those who crave a more authentic European lifestyle. From bustling cities like Porto, to hidden gems in the Douro Valley, the North, offers many possibilities for retirees. One of the biggest perks of living in the North of Portugal, is the opportunity to immerse yourself in the country's history and culture. With cities like Porto, Braga, and Chaves, you'll never run out of fascinating sites to explore, from centuries-old churches to traditional vineyards. The cost of living is also generally lower, compared to Lisbon, and the Algarve, making it a more affordable option for many retirees. Last on our best places recommendation list, are the Portuguese islands. Retiring to Portugal's islands, can offer a unique and tranquil lifestyle, surrounded by breathtaking natural beauty. The two main Portuguese island, are Madeira and the Azores, each with its distinct characteristics and charm. The Portuguese islands of Madeira, and the Azores, offer retirees a unique blend of breathtaking natural beauty, a pleasant subtropical climate, and a slower pace of life. Both archipelagos, boast stunning landscapes, including volcanic formations, lush green forests, and crystal clear waters perfect for outdoor enthusiasts. The islands also have a strong sense of community, with friendly locals, and an emerging expat presence. There are lots of pros, to living in Portugal, but there are, unsurprisingly, one or two cons as well, especially in rural areas. 
Some of these downsides include lack of a customer service culture, the challenge of integrating without knowing the language, and low quality housing. And there you have it, the many reasons why retiring in Portugal can be a dream come true. From its sun-kissed beaches, to its charming historic towns, Portugal offers a retirement lifestyle that combines natural beauty, rich culture, and warm hospitality. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves crashing on the Algarve shores, or sipping a glass of world-class Portuguese wine in the serene Douro Valley. The vibrant local culture, delectable cuisine, and affordable living make it an ideal destination for retirees seeking a laid-back yet fulfilling life. Whether you're looking for a peaceful retreat, an active lifestyle, or a blend of both, Portugal offers a little something for everyone. The country's excellent healthcare system, English-friendly environment, and welcoming community of expats make the transition to retirement here smooth and enjoyable. And that is all for today. So, if you're considering retiring in a place that feels like a perpetual vacation, Portugal might just be your perfect destination. So, start planning your retirement adventure in this European gem, and let the magic of Portugal enrich your golden years. But if Portugal is not your ideal retirement plan, then subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell, to find out, what it's like to retire and live, in Spain or Italy, in the upcoming videos. Obrigado for watching. See you next time, and, happy retirement planning.